Hey, what's going on, guys? Pineapple Sway here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys Batman Arkham Asylum Part 8. Um, possibly this may be the final episode. I'm not really sure how far we progress throughout the game, but as you can see, we are 46% done with this game. Um, yeah, so Part 8 or Part 9 really just depends on how far we get today. Maybe the last episode of the game. Um, I'm really deciding what game I should play next. I have Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Adventure 2, or Batman Arkham City. You guys can comment down below what game you'd like to see, and I'd collect the results and do that game next after this game. So, um, not really sure what to be discussing, but I know the coronavirus has been going crazy around the world. Oh, there's a I'll be careful. I believe we've already seen this cutscene, so I'm not really sure. Batman. One step closer, and this goes into the water. The cave will fill with your deepest, darkest nightmares, and you will never reach your precious venom roots. <laughs> Don't do it, Crane. <laughs> So, we're on the Killer Croc part. Um, this part of the game is pretty difficult, but it's not, it's not too hard. Get this trophy over here. But yeah, the coronavirus has been going crazy around the world. Um, this... Most of you guys know, the M NBA shut down yesterday, and the Major League Baseball Association, and even the Hockey, National Hockey League Association, shut down today. And if you're football fans, the XFL shut down today. So it's just a bunch of stuff is shutting down over this little virus. Now, I'm not really sure how big of a deal the virus is. Um, I know a few NBA players have tested... Oh my god, it's terrifying. I don't know if few NBA players have tested positive for the virus. So, you know. Oracle. I'm heading into Croc's lair to collect the plant spores oh, Ivy spoke about. Exactly. He's in some kind of old sewer network. Send me the schematics. It's like a maze down here. There's nothing on record. Bruce, are you sure about this? Sounds like a suicide mission. I've got no choice. I've tuned the scanner to detect the spores required to make the antivenom. It'll lead me straight to them. What about Croc? Croc's just an animal. And animals just need traps and the right bait. I'll be fine. I'll contact you when I'm done. No, no. We have to find poison ivy's plant to collect enough sample to create an antidote, I believe. These floating platforms will and support me. We gotta be really quiet. We'll also sneaky. send sound waves through the water, giving away my position to Croc. I'll need to move as slowly as possible. But um, I believe there's over. They're saying that there's over like. Twelve, hundred, no, twelve thousand cases now in like France, I believe. Um, I know a lot of like even uh, what I can't even think of his name right now, but a famous actor, and his wife. Um, Tom Hanks. Yeah, that's who it is. Tom Hanks ended up getting the coronavirus. He's positive, and his wife was positive too. They're in Australia currently, and I'm not really sure if Australia's still on fire, but like, that's just a lot of stuff. To do. Oh my god. I. I think. Enjoy feasting on your bones. Okay, so you're supposed to aim the battering. <sighs> kind of resorted. This video is already really long. Alright, so. Yeah, but it's just like. Alright, we're not supposed to. I don't, I mean, is it really that big of a deal? I mean, I don't really know. I'm not a scientist. I couldn't really tell you if it's a big deal or not. Um, but honestly, to all my subscribers and viewers, I would just say be safe and be smart on what you do. These um, spores don't wash your hands after every, if, after you touch everything. To it seems like this virus can be passed around like extremely easily. Believe it or not. I mean, 
it's, I mean, this will probably pass by soon and you won't really want to worry about it anymore. It's, where is he? Where is he? Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Sorry about that. But I'd say in a few months this will just pass by and we won't really, won't really worry about it anymore. Um, this is basically like Ebola, even though Ebola was kind of worse than this in my opinion. Because like Ebola, you bleed out through every hole in your body. And I'm pretty sure like, if you had Ebola, you're basically dead. Well, I've seen online that you have about 5% chance. It's like 6% now. I mean, the, per the percentages are going up of people dying, but it's mainly just old people, I believe. If you're basically young and healthy, like your average teenager or young adult, then you'll be fine. But kids, five or younger, and then especially elderly. Uh, especially elderly people are more likely to not be able to fight this disease due to, um, I guess, their immune system and I guess they're just, you know, like for young people, their body's not fully developed and for old people, they're sort of just, you know, running out of just, I don't know, I don't really know how to say it, running out of juice, I guess. <laughs> they're not as strong. I die. And they're not as, um, elderly people aren't, aren't as strong as they used to be. Because, you know, the older you get, like, the weaker you are. Unless you're, like, LeBron James. But other than him. Um. So, most teenagers, you know, people my age. I'm a senior in high school. will be fine. But I see it online. Like, they're canceling. So, so many But um, they're canceling so many schools and stuff and switching to online school. I mean, my school, we're on spring break right now, but we may switch to online school after break. Which, I mean, I understand. They really care about, you know, the safety of children and stuff. And um, at my school, we have all grades, you know, K through 12. So if one person gets it, you know, everyone will get it, basically. This is the last. You are mine. Oh no, he's doing that crap now. <clears throat> but like, if one per eh, one one person one person gets it, then everyone will get it. Um, I know my I've been talking to my friends. I know a lot of high schools in my area. Holy crap! Have switched to um they've switched to online school. Um, you know, no one's allowed on like. The vicinity. Oh, no. no one's allowed like on the vicinity of the campus anymore, especially the col the college, um, Liberty University, that's um literally right beside my high school, is they I believe they're still on spring break, but they're extending spring break, and then when they come back, they're switching to online school, just strictly online school, and um, a lot of college. Oh, no. A lot of um, colleges in the area have also switched to online schools, such as Virginia Tech, JMU, uh, UVA, and even uh, March Madness, you know. We thought that March Madness, you know, was going to get people's mind off this, but they have shut down March Madness completely. And if you guys don't know what March Madness is, it's basically basketball, uh, college basketball playoffs. So, um, yeah, it's just the world's... In a panic right now, basically. Got spores. I need to get back right, to we got enough, so we can get out of here. Oh, I get it. You've activated a sonar beacon down there. Clever. All right, now we got to oh, run. I'm getting out of here. Get the heck out. What about Croc? He won't be a problem. Yeah, but, um... Whoa. Oh, no. Oh. We gotta, gotta go this way. So I'm trying to focus, but um, yeah. If you guys are basically young and healthy, and you know you eat the right stuff, um, I can assure you that you guys will be okay. I'm not a doctor or anything. Like that. 
I'm not a doctor, but what I've been seeing from online is basically if you just eat, you know, eat healthy, have your vitamins, take your medicine daily, wash your hands, then you will be fine. And I'm sure, I can assure you that that's probably true for everybody. And um, hopefully in a few months this will all die down and the world will go back to normal. So I understand, you know, a lot of people are probably terrified right now of what's happening. You know, you don't really know what to do and stuff. You know, a lot of people don't really know what to do and stuff. Because, uh, I mean, it's been a long time since something like this has happened. You know, Ebola happened in 2014, I believe. And I know people are comparing this to, like, you know, uh, you know, another world danger, you know? Like, sort of like the Great Depression and stuff like that. Um, I don't think it's really comparable to, like, world, the World War, you know, World War Two, World War One, and the Great Depression and stuff. Because, I mean, and also a lot of, um, biblical experts talk about this to be the end of times. Which I think is bogus because no man knows when the end of time is truly gonna happen and plus the holocaust was way worse than this we've seen way worse things in our timeline you know throughout our time this like you know, way worse than this and i can i could talk about biblical stuff but i'm not gonna get into that because um, that's just my opinion but um yeah so I can assure you guys that the coronavirus is nothing to be uh, fearful of. You guys can sleep at night. It's not going to, I mean, it may, it's a possibility, but it's not going to kill the, everybody. It's not the end of the world. Everything's going to be fine. So, oh, crap. My caves will be your tomb. It wants to go this way? Yeah, okay. Yeah, but um, you guys don't worry about it. Um, don't let this cloud your mind and be fearful. Uh, that's the last thing that we should do is be fearful of this thing. Um, just, you know, fear can basically cloud our thoughts and you know, ruin us and have us not focus on other important things in our lives. So yeah, that's all I really got to say. I don't know, know really, really what caused me to talk about the coronavirus, but with all the stuff and crap happening around, it's felt it was necessary to discuss. East. Um, I would get that really trophy, but I'm not really doing 100%. The plants are going crazy. I'm getting seismic spikes in all locations. It's not good. It's okay. I've got the mold samples. I'm heading to the Batcave to mix up the antidote. Good. I'd tell you to hurry, but I'm sure you know what you're doing. Contact me in the cave if you need anything. And I believe after we get to the cave. Poison Ivy will completely trash our cave, so. Scan and open. But, um, it's been a while since I've been uploading uh, any games. I've just been uploading Madden stuff. Uh, I know, you, I know most of, a good portion of my subscribers want to see different games, such as Batman, as I'm playing right now, and Outlast, and even Sonic Adventure, and Sonic Unleashed, but, um, that's it. How close are you to making the cure? Close. It's been more difficult than I expected. The process is slow, difficult, and doesn't produce much antidote. And 
And the good news? The chemical will definitely stop Ivy. It may also reverse the Titan transformation. I need to run some more tests to be sure. I've set the computer to create more, but I need to get out of here and find Ivy. Thank God. Our plans have reached the Gotham River. We get the triple bat claw, and basically we're gonna get out of here. I completely lost my train of thought of what I was talking about. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, I know most of a good portion of my subscribers. I'd say about forty percent, thirty percent in that range want to see, um, you know, Batman, Sonic, you know, games like that, which I will definitely play. But it's just like from an analytic standpoint, and you know, Madden. Why I upload so many Madden videos is because that's where it's basically at. My YouTube channel has showed a huge amount of success just from playing Madden in general. Um, if you guys want to talk to me about it, I can show you the analytics and stuff. Madden is basically where it's at. That's the reason why my channel has gotten where it is today. Because um, my last Madden video I uploaded, well, my second to last video, I've had two Madden videos that get, got over eight. No, 700 views and it got a ton of watch watch time and most of you guys don't really understand how YouTube works um, in order for me to get monetized and to get 4,000 hours of watch time so people I need basically people watch my videos for 4,000 hours and I'm about at 80 which is good because I basically just started doing YouTube you know full time as a side hobby which I'm proud of. I'm hopefully I'd say in about two years or three years I'd be able to get those numbers higher and hit four thousand. Um, once you know my channel grows and get more fans and stuff, and you know you guys continue to like the videos and show support. Where am I supposed to go? Oh. Yeah, but I'll I'll still be you know ha happily upload other games but this is I will be uploading a lot of Madden so because that's what the it's just like the stats show and analytics that those are missing my best videos now but uh, once I get a bigger audience and more fans I don't think it really would matter what I upload Let's say if I have, like, about, say, by this time, I get about, in two years from now, I have about 2,000 subscribers. Um, I'm pretty sure if I upload, oh my gosh, if I upload Madden, um, or if I upload, they won't get that far. My antidote will stop them and Ivy. I hope you're right. I'm here if you need me. If I upload any game, if I have about 2,000 subscribers, it really would not matter. I'd, I'd assume I'd get the same amount of views if I had that many subscribers. Oracle, we've got another problem. What now? Two-Face? Riddler? Some kind of giant Joker robot? Unfortunately, nothing that simple. I'm at the sewer junction, and it appears to be polluted with Titan. Why? What's he doing now? I'll look into it. But, um... I, as if you guys have seen most of my Madden videos rack up about a hundred views on average um the Titan water seems to be corrosive but it shouldn't trouble the suit what have you found out I'm not sure you're ready for this no but go ahead Joker's pumping all the waste product from the Titan process into that chamber it acts as a kind of natural storage tank once it's full, it releases the water into the Gotham River. Normally, it's safe, but... But this time, it's full of Titan. How do I stop it? I'm working on it. Ouch. 
but um, on average, most of my videos that are Madden related to get about a hundred. According to the plans I have on file, there are three control rooms. The first is directly above you. I'll shut them all down. What will happen if this Titan stuff reaches Gotham? It won't reach Gotham. Yeah, so most of my average Madden videos get about a hundred views, while my um, other videos in general get about 30 to 50. Just depends on the video. Outlast normally gets about 50, and Batman, what I'm playing right now, normally gets about 30. While Madden gets about 100. So from my standpoint, I see that you guys like Madden more, so I'm going to upload more Madden. But if it was the opposite, if you guys like Outlast more, Batman more, I'd upload more Batman and, and Outlast. That makes sense. Who are we getting? <laughs> yep. Yeah, but, um, so in, in the near future, let's say Batman and Outlast tries to get more views, then I'm gonna upload that instead of this, or in, instead of Madden. But for now, I'm not gonna c consider myself a strictly Madden YouTuber. I upload anything, I'm just trying to upload something to get me to blow up, and Madden is my best case scenario to get views and likes, so. Oh, I collected all the tapes. And also, I'll probably, I will probably make this video about 40 minutes long for you guys since I haven't uploaded Batman in such a long time. Great. Only two more to find. And I know you guys like it, so... Oracle. That's the second pump shut off. One more to go. But I mean, also, if you guys want to support me, I would really appreciate, um, you know, free shoutouts, honestly. I mean, I know it sounds stupid, but, um, in all reality, I really would like to do this, you know, full time eventually. I'd like to get a real job and stuff, but, you know, I'd like to do this on the side, you know. I mean, you could make a good amount of money in branding and stuff, because I've been, I've been also streaming on Mixer, as most of you guys know, most of my close friends know. Um... Yeah, so if you, know, if you want to give me a free shout out, uh, I'm totally cool with it. I'm not gonna stop you. Um, one of my friends have already given me a free, given me a free shout out. Uh, not gonna say her name, but really appreciate it. I gained like 10 subscribers from, from her. So, yeah. All right. Uh oh, I'm dead. I'm just. Uh, just restarts the whole game. That'd be amazing, honestly. Uh, okay, restart from right here. Okay, dumb. Exactly. 
I wish they had the, I know in the next, in Arkham City, you can like slide and kick these grates down. Well, in this game, you can't slide or kick grates down, but it saves like time and speed. So I want to do this fast, I know these, are, like, these sections are really slow. Much time, I don't have much time. Get over here, everyone, on me. Wait up, I'll watch you. <sighs> Wake up, do you hear me? Wake up. Anyone got a way out of this? Shut up and keep looking. Leave him here. Run out and find the back. Bust me out of black ink and send me underground? There's gotta be easier ways to make a living. What is this guy doing? Please tell you guys just saw that. He shot me and teleported. Alright, I'm pretty sure I can get out of here now since I stopped the bump. Ah. I tried, guys. Oh, we did. 
That was easy. You don't want an outbreak of Titan and Hatch mutant babies climbing over Gotta upgrade token. Um, I'm gonna upgrade the range of the graphic synchronizer. That can help me solve riddles in the future, get more XP. Now this is one of the most terrible parts in the game, and after I beat this part, I'll probably end this part of the series. You guys will see what happens, it takes a little while, so I'll just sit back and relax. As you guys can see, you fight the Titan in this little small compact area. And if you can get him to hit the shocky. The shock, the shocky, the shock wall, or whatever you want to call it. That's basically the goal. Run into the wall. Can't get him to run into the wall. It's okay. You won't do it. The other guys, I just took out disappeared, so. It's kind of weird. I guess they do it so the game doesn't glitch out. I don't know. Brick, metal and paint covered old wounds. 
Fresh blood was injected into the body. Bright new minds came, and all swore to uphold our promises. We all knew we were the ones to fix this city, and the city would thank us. The Ultra Claw again. I love the Ultra Claw, it's a great gadget, but like it's sort of like the Batmobile and the in Arkham Knight. You, you, it's not really necessary, and the game forces you to use it. And like it takes like 10 seconds to just you know spam the A button to get it to work. So I don't know, that's just my opinion. <sighs> Ice getting stronger. I need to stop her now. I think she's still in the gardens where you left her, but she'll be in control of it now. You'll be walking into a trap. That's what she thinks. I don't know what the sniper's looking at. But, um, I wonder. Got him. All right, so that's all. Um, next episode we'll fight Poison Ivy, and then possibly we'll, we will fight Joker. On top of that, building to finish Arkham Asylum. That is all I have for you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pineapple Sway. Uh, please like and subscribe to support me. And uh, peace.